I have been with I have been with Viking going on five amazing years. So very excited to share with you our Viking philosophy along with our ship details and the new itineraries that we will be covering today and our setting sail to this summer. Uh, our great partners on tours, I wanted to send a special thank you. If you have any further questions, once we get done, please feel free to ask them. Uh, but they are real experts in everything regarding Viking. So for booking dates, availability, any of those questions, feel free to get in touch with them. And as I mentioned today, I'm excited to share all about our welcome back cruises. So allow me to share my screen with you. And we are going to go into the presentation. If you don't mind muting yourself, that would be great. And I will go off camera so that you can focus on what we will be speaking about. So we are pleased to spotlight a collection of new voyages for travelers who are ready to get back into the world and for our loyal guests who are eager to return to the familiar comfort of our small ships. These welcome back voyages are exclusively available for vaccinated guests in accordance with local entry rules in many of these destinations. Our Viking health and safety program will protect guests and crew on board while the COVID vaccine rollout is still moving forward. So please uh, allow us to uh, go over these and join us in exploring the world in comfort once again. I wanted to go over a few of our safety measures. As I mentioned, for these upcoming cruises, we are requiring vaccinated guests just because these countries and governments are requiring them. But we've also implemented a lot of really great safety measures on board. These have been developed by scientific and medical advisors that are led by our uh, Chief Health Officer, Dr. Raquel Bono, and she is a fantastic lady who is not only a board certified trauma surgeon, but she is also the retired Vice Admiral of the United States Navy Medical Corps. So we've implemented a fleet-wide protocol and procedure that will allow us to get back to safe sailing, such as onboard daily non-invasive saliva swab testing, as well as uh, sanitizing more so the common areas. We even have robots on board that will be sanitizing the common areas while you're all sleeping. So just know that we are setting the gold standard in regards to the health and safety protocols on board to really, as always, maintain that priority of the well being of our guests and crew. Now, if you don't know too much about Viking, we have been sailing since 1997, so going on 24 years now, and have had the same philosophy all throughout. The Viking difference is really all about the destination and exploring the world in comfort. The world of Viking is also constantly growing, and not only on our rivers, but also our oceans, expeditions, and our Mississippi. We now have itineraries that will travel to all seven continents, visit 95 countries, stop by 403 ports, sail on five oceans, 20 rivers, and five great lakes. I also wanted to mention that we were recently voted uh, Travel and Leisure's World's Best Ocean Cruise Line, and this is for the fifth year in a row now, which is such an honor from the moment we released the small, intimate ocean ships in 2015 we have won this award time and time again. So we really appreciate our past guests for voting for us and are just thrilled to have won this award once again. Allow me to share with you our Viking philosophy. So we are definitely not trying to be everything to everyone. Let me explain what makes Viking different. Our beloved chairman, Torstein Hagen, he likes to refer to us as the thinking person's cruise. And that is because we travel to learn, to explore, as well as immerse you in the history, the arts, the music, the culture of the destination. And of course, 
allow you to try the many culinary ways of the world. We are destination focused, so you will definitely spend a lot of the time at the ports, and we really make this one of our main priorities. We are also highly inclusive, so the majority of your amenities will be included in your package. And with our small ships, we are able to be efficient operators because we own and operate the ship, so we can then pass along those savings to our guests. And of course, we hire the very best staff in the cruise industry. Our staff is all Swiss trained and just incredibly thoughtful. So what is the Viking difference you ask? Well, you'll have plenty of opportunity to explore the quaint towns and cities we visit. We are destination focused as well as culturally enriching. So you'll notice we offer destination performances as well as daily lectures that are provided by historians. Now here are a couple of our different itineraries that we will be discovering. So Charming Malta and the Algene Isles will immerse you in ancient world as you discover the early empires of the Mediterranean and Aegean seas. You'll visit historic UNESCO World Heritage Sites such as the Maltese capital of Ayeta and Rhodes Palace of the Grand Masters. Then we'll enjoy dramatic views of the Parthenon in Athens and uncover the mysteries of the Minoan and Crete and admire the white facades and azure domes of the clifftop villages of Santorini during this enchanting voyage through the centuries. On Malta and the Adriatic Jewels will unveil historic hidden gems where you can discover Malta's millennia of history and visit ancient UNESCO sites. If you're not too familiar with UNESCO's, this stands for United Nations Educational and Cultural Organization that seek to preserve historical sites all throughout the world. So we actually have many guests that travel with Viking to collect these sites. We'll explore Croatia's captivating coastlines and some of the great iconic <laughs> cities of antiquity. I have air conditioning on. We'll stroll the majestic city walls of Dubrovnik and visit uh, a palace there. We will also immerse you in the nature of the great outdoors during a visit to Kra National Park. You can join us for a fascinating journey as you witness rolling landscapes and ancient architectural treasures along the Adriatic shores. Then we have a few more that sail to Iberia, the Mediterranean and Malta where you get to see historic gems. You'll set sail from maritime Portsmouth and trace the Iberian coast to historic Portuguese cities. You'll traverse the legendary Strait of Gibraltar and witness the territory's unique mix of cultures from Britain's iconic pillar boxes to its blend of architectural styles. The legacy of centuries of settlers here will really astonish you. You'll get to visit the lesser known Isle of Gozo in the beautiful Maltese archipelago and immerse yourself in the ancient history of Valletta, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Then we have Malta, the Adriatic in Greece, where we'll follow the routes of ancient mariners as you set out on a voyage through the ages. You'll get to discover the early empires of the Mediterranean and Aegean seas and visit some other UNESCO sites, such as the iconic Parthenon and the Maltese capital of Valletta and Rhodes Palace as well. You'll admire Santorini's clifftop villages and the walled city of Dubrovnik and witness the rolling landscapes and captivating coastlines as you journey through the Adriatic seas. And then we have Malta and the Western Mediterranean. So this is an really a lot of celebrated cultures in this iconic uh, side of the world. You'll get to traverse the historic and heritage rich waters of the Western Mediterranean during this 10 day tour where you'll voyage from Valletta and you'll discover the magnificent Amalfi Coast from elegant Naples gateway to Pompeii and visit Messina, Sicily's cultural crossroad. Then you'll see the storied sites of ancient Rome 
and immersed in Tuscan Florence and Catalonian Barcelona's art and architecture during this unforgettable journey. We have a few others here. We have Iceland, which has is uh, sold out the fastest, really. Uh, we It is round trip from Reykjavik. And really here, you'll discover an epic journey into nature. You'll discover Iceland's majestic shores as you explore this Northern Isles coastal towns, encounter unparalleled natural beauty and witness cascading waterfalls, pristine fjords, uh, amazing landscape, of course. You'll discover some Viking heritage as you follow in the footsteps of the explorer Leif Erikson. And you can observe the wealth of wildlife from puffins to the gentle giants of the sea. Uh, you can join us for a truly immersive experience that brings you closer to nature and all of its splendor. We do have just a handful of, ca of cabins remaining for Iceland. So if you're interested, please make sure you reach out. Um, Bermuda Escape, round trip Bermuda. This is the perfect summer summer escape here, where you'll discover the colonial history, some natural beauty of the subtropical island of Bermuda. You'll explore the cobblestone streets and colorful facades of St. George, the oldest settlement in the New World, and also visit some UNESCO sites. You'll enjoy a sunset cruise via catamaran and trace shores back to Bermuda's stunning bays. You can play around the Gulf, you can relax and soak up the sun on the pink sands of one of Bermuda's renowned beaches. Now, if you're interested in our smaller river ship experience, we have our Rhine getaway that is setting sail in July. We also have our Portugal's River of Gold. Our Rhine getaway, you'll see many castles and cathedrals along the way. You'll explore one of one of uh, Europe's best loved rivers, the Rhine. You'll discover some fortresses, grand cathedrals, historic sites, of course, some medieval towns and spectacular scenery. Also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Middle Rhine. You'll get to taste some of the region's renowned white wines, the roots of its Terence vineyards reaching back to Roman times. And you'll savor the various culinary traditions of Alsace, from Amsterdam and Cologne to Basel, this journey reveals a rich landscape of beauty and culture. Then we have a trip to Portugal where you can experience the Renaissance of Lisbon, newly invigorated with trending galleries and restaurants. You can explore two of Iberia's oldest university towns, Coimbra, Portugal and Salamanca, Spain. Then you'll roam the port warehouses of Porto, enjoy traditional cuisine, wine, and fado singing. You can cruise the Douro River Valley, the world's oldest demarcated wine region, and also a UNESCO World Heritage Site here. Then we have a few other sailings that sail towards France. So we have our Lyon and Provence, where you can tap into your inner Van Gogh at Arles Painting Class. Or you can discover Roman Provence at Les Arnais Amphitheater and the Pointe du Gard. You can explore Avignon's Palace of the Popes, where you'll get excited with a palette in Lyon's capital of French gastronomy. You can savor some really amazing wines as well. Then we have France's Finest, which, where you can explore Paris, Burgundy, and Provence. You can explore Avignon's Palace of the Popes, savor Leon's culinary heritage. You can toast the Bayoulet vineyards, luxuriate in Paris' sophistication. So much to see here. Walk in Joan of Arc's footsteps and pay your respects at Normandy, Normandy's World War II beaches. And lastly, our Paris in the heart of Normandy, which is another very popular trip where you can explore Giverny and visit the beautiful gardens and charming farmhouse where Claude Monet lived and worked, the setting that inspired many of his famous masterpieces. You can trace the footsteps of Joan of Arc in Rouen and walk hollowed grounds at Normandy's American military cemetery. So a lot of choices for you to begin to set sail. 
Now, a little bit more about Viking. We are known to many as the Thinking Persons Cruise, and that is because when you sail with Viking, we'd like for you to experience the destination with cultural insight and enrichment, as well as understand the food, culture, countryside, and customs. And we have many different shore excursions that cater to that. We'd like for you to learn more with our recommended reading material and films that we provide before you even go on your trip. And we'd like for you to do as the locals do by perhaps visiting a local farmer's market with one of our chefs or step behind the scenes of a famous world-class museum. We seek to enhance your journey on board with our world-class lectures that are really designed to enrich your experience. And of course, we'd like for you to connect with fellow English speaking travelers. What I've noticed and what I've seen is that many of our guests connect so well on board, they end up becoming pen pals and developing lifelong friendships and taking their second trip with us together. We are known to many as well as the small ship experts. So more than two decades of expertise on the rivers has really helped us to reinvent and redefine the ocean sailing experience. We have state-of-the-art sister ships with only 465 cabins on board. And by the way, the ship is so well designed, it really never feels crowded. Your ship will be your floating hotel, but the best part is you only have to unpack once. We allow for more time in port with an average of 12 hours in port, which is really a fantastic time frame to explore those quaint towns and cities. And we take you right to the heart of the destination. Our small ship design allows us to dock closer to that heart of the destination. And by the way, on the river ships, we only have 190 maximum guests on board. We also have destination focused dining as well. So let's talk a little bit about this. So dining on board has also been reinvented. We are cooking everything fresh. The food is locally sourced, beautifully presented as well. And matter of fact, we have won numerous awards for our food on board. It's a very high end food experience. We will usually feature regional cuisine so that you may sample some of the best dishes known to the locals in the area, but we'll always have your favorite American classics available. You will have the chance to explore new cultures through food. So talking about these, let's take a closer look. So as you can see, we have plenty of amazing restaurants on board. We have our main restaurant, which has the most amazing seafood, a lot of good sushi there. Then we have our Manfredi's, which is one of our two specialty restaurant, restaurants that offer Italian flavor, some freshly made pasta or a nice porterhouse steak, Italian style, which by the way, is one of my favorites there. Then we have Momsen's, which is an Norwegian deli on board where we serve midnight snacks, waffles, reindeer ham and split pea soup. And then we have our winter garden, which is set up for tea time every afternoon. So our baristas will be offering high-end teas, high-end coffees at no extra charge, of course. And then our chef's table, which is our second specialty restaurant where you can sample eccentric samplings, uh, multiple courses that change every three days or so on your journey. Then we have our pool grill here where We've won numerous awards for our fresh gourmet burgers and sandwiches. They have a really nice salad bar, of course. And, and if you'd like to have a midnight snack or feel more comfortable dining in the comfort of your stateroom, we also have 24 hour room service available at no additional charge. So all of that is included. We also have, as I mentioned, award-winning service on board. Our staff is just incredible. They're super friendly, very thoughtful. They make you feel right at home the minute you board and they make the experience that much better. On board, we immerse you into a cultural experience. So we will usually have a guest lecturer or historian that will really go into depth and detail regarding the rich cultures you are visiting. They really provide great insight and history of those quaint towns. And once you actually arrive, you are already so knowledgeable, right? So it's very special the way we do things. Then the Viking way of exploration really brings local life, working world and privileged access to life. So allow me to share some examples of that. So for example, when we're in Spain, you can see a passionate performance of flamenco or working world experiences, which show you what the locals do for, for a living there is where you can discover the art of Santin figuring making in Marseille. 
or privilege access tours that offer you behind the scenes insights and opportunities, uh, which we have arranged exclusive entry for Viking guests to cultural treasures all around the world. So for example, you can visit and tour the Princess Palace in Monaco. So we also divide our different shore excursions based on their activity level. We will show you the features, the excursion types, so you know exactly what you're booking before you even go on your trip. So what are we not? So many times when we think about a cruise, perhaps we associate it with casinos, screaming children, water slides, rock climbing walls or bumper cars, perhaps some umbrella drinks. And these are some of the things we just don't have on any of our Viking ships, which really separates us from the rest and our guests really love. With Viking, it's simple. We take you right to the heart of the destination and we are all inclusive. So the majority of the amenities will be included in your package. So let me tell you the only two things that we don't include. We don't include the gratuities to the onboard staff, and that is because our chairman really believes that's a personal choice he'd like for you to make. We also don't include spirits. Uh, we do include unlimited beer and wine with your lunches and dinners, but if you like your cocktails any time of the day, I would recommend talking to your travel advisor about adding the silver spirits package. Now, allow me to share with you some different awards and accolades we've received throughout the years. This is our latest and greatest. We were voted world's best winner by um, Travel and Leisure five years in a row now. As you see, we are rated much higher than many of our competitors. And just to show you how well taken we have been throughout the years, these are just a few that came from the travel industry's ratings from previous travelers. So it's really nice to be held at such a high standard and to deliver that promise to our guests year after year. Keep in mind, we released these ocean ships in 2015, uh, but we have won many awards ever since. Allow me to share with you some more about our uh, culture curriculum. So as I mentioned, we will be having historians on board that do a number of different lectures to really enhance your experience. They will talk about ports that are coming up and these pretty much happen every day. Then we have also destination performances. So we will feature performances like Lercoric performances, whether it be flamenco in Spain or Fado in Portugal, these, these are really part of the culture of the destination. So of course, we wanna depict that on board as well. Then we also have an exclusive relationship with Oslo's Monk Museum. Edvard Monk, if you're not too familiar with him, is a very famous artist, if not the most famous artist of Norway. So in our beautiful two-story digital screen in the atrium, we will feature some of his artwork that is displayed and changes throughout the day. We also feature TED Talks on board. So you probably heard of TED Talks, but these are technology, entertainment, and design talks that um, they're, they're a nonprofit organization that do very high-end talks on a number of different topics, such as art, history, geography, science, and they really promote a deeper understanding into the world. So if you're in your stateroom, you can always watch these. We will also feature some of these in our theaters. And we also have a very unique partnership with the Metropolitan Opera, which allows us to show performances that take guests behind the scenes offering backstage, uh, backstage interviews, and we can also view them in the top pool. So now allow me to give you a little bit of a ship overview. So as I mentioned, 465 cabins on this ship, 930 maximum guests, of course, with the sailing, the, the new sailings going out this summer, it's going to be more limited than that, depending on what the governments are telling us. And serene Scandinavian places inside. So you'll under you'll you'll notice that our ships are very well designed, best described as understated elegance. It is really wide open and airy. We are all about incorporating the outdoors with a very modern, elegant, yet comfortable style with well well designed aesthetics. And in many of the public areas, you'll find elements of Viking history. 
So it really feels like an explorer vessel. So let's take a peek inside. So this is our three deck atrium. We often have live performances here, some pianists, some violinists. On the right and left will be our living room space, very spacious, very comfortable furniture. Then we have our Explorer's Lounge. This is the perfect place to watch a beautiful sunset as you enjoy a glass of wine or perhaps some desserts. And this is the upstairs of that. A lot of attention to, to, to detail here. We have maritime carpets. And of course we have a library on board. So we always have a library on board and we curate our books based on the places that we are sailing through. So if you like to delve a little bit deeper into perhaps the architecture of the destination, we'll probably have a book you can pick up regarding that. Then this is our winter garden. So my personal favorite space on board, this is where we offer that high-end tea time every single afternoon. Our baristas will go around and offer you high-end teas, high-end coffees. There'll be some light music playing in the background. And it's just very beautifully designed with the tree of life in mind. This is our main pool. And if we're sailing while the weather is nice, we can actually retract that roof here. We'll have some, some evening performances or perhaps play a nice uh, classical movie here for you, serve you some hot chocolate. This is our infinity pool and it's towards the back of the ship where you really feel one with the ocean, very relaxing. This is our spa on board and we will still have it open for you during our new sailings this summer. Very beautifully designed here. And we even have a snow grotto on board. So uh, with a push of a button, it'll start to sprinkle down snow, right? It's supposed to give you a lot of endorphins really good for your skin. So make sure you go in there when you sail with us. And this is our Aquavit Terrace where you can dine al fresco, right? So this is what happens on board Viking every single day. Our guests love to sail with us and all veranda staterooms as well. So every single cabin comes with their full walkout balcony. There is no sharing of air between cabins. And in the common areas, we, we've also implemented some new filters that kill 99% of all pathogens and viruses. So we have also implemented a lot of new technology, but every single stateroom comes with their full non-obstructed view. And really, we look forward to welcoming you on board. So I did want to stick around for any questions you might have and if you have further questions regarding availability, booking dates, please contact Brian or Dee regarding any further questions. But if you have any during this time, I'm here. So would love to answer any questions you may have. I don't see any coming in, so. Brian, would you like to? Okay, yeah, we um, if we still got some time for questions if anybody has something. Okay, do you see that question? I Elizabeth? don't see it on, oh, okay, I see There's it. There's some under. questions coming in by chat. Two questions have come in by chat. I see that among the no smoking, correct. Yes, we, we have a no smoking in the stateroom policy. Um, but we do, for those guests who are smokers, we do have a place towards the back of the ship where you can smoke outdoors if you'd like to. Um, and yes, you see the other from, question, good. Okay. Yes, from Lisa, thank you so much. Yes, for our river ships, they're very, very small and intimate, 190 maximum guests on board those ships. And in Portugal, it's even less than that. I believe it's 106. So, you know, and these are all double occupancy cabins. So very small and intimate. Now, what is the cancellation policy from Martha? Thanks for your question. So right now we are offering a risk-free guarantee promotion 
throughout June, which basically allows you to cancel 14 days prior to departure. And what you would get back would be a form of future cruise voucher to use towards a future sailing. So it protects you from losing out on your travel investment. Uh, of course, we always recommend adding travel insurance um, just in case, because during these times, you know, if you're overseas, you want to make sure you have covered health insurance. So let me see here. Who else asked questions? Um, are there single rooms available? So we do not have single cabins available. Unfortunately, they're all double occupancy. But right now we do have some good promotions for our single travelers on these upcoming sailings. And, and yes, we have Lisa that is interesting, interested in the Duoro River. I would highly recommend that one. We, we do. It's, it's, it's a beautiful country to visit. And then we have no spoken. Okay, so so yeah, the, the smoking is, we promote it as no smoking, right? Because there's no smoking inside the ship. But as I mentioned on that top deck, um, sometimes guests, who are smokers will smoke on the top deck towards the back. So it doesn't affect anybody. We don't have casinos. We don't have children at all. Everyone is 18 plus. It's a very mature um, list of passengers. You'll notice that when you board the ship, it's very quiet on board. I was actually very surprised uh, during my first sailing because it's just very quiet, very quaint. People are just relaxing, reading. Um, listening to the live music, soft music, no buffets, no, we will have servers who will be serving you. And yeah, I think that that covers the questions here that we have. Okay. Um, okay. Any other questions? If somebody would like to unmute themselves, you can do it that way too or continue to ask in the chat. And if, you, if you'd like to hear more about the destination, for example, that Portugal's River of Gold, right, where we go into a day day to day, we do offer some virtual presentations. So I will be happy to share those with Brian, who can then share those with you. And that way you can get some, some more insight on that particular ship, for example, uh, that sails to Portugal. You can get more details regarding the destination itself. You can learn a little bit about the culture and these are really great presentations. So I'm happy to share those. Um, so I got another question. Oh, so actually, would, this might be one for D, the difference between booking directly with Viking versus on tours. Yeah, good question. Um, there really is, um, you know, we have a, a we have a, a slight advantage that we'd like to offer to our on tour guests. Um, you know, obviously, we would offer an, a, an onboard credit that you can use while you're on board the ship. Uh, we can certainly match any any other promotions that, um, you know, if, if you see something on Vikings website or you get in uh, some kind of advertisement, we can offer that same discount. Um, let's see, um, if you book an untour in conjunction with a, uh, with a river cruise, we would offer you, a, you know, a discount off of your untour, a hundred dollar discount. Um, and sometimes we can get special pricing depending on what the actual cruise is that you can't find any place else. So, um, you know, we'd like to think that you would come to us for um, for your for the bookings, and um, you know, we can certainly match any price. So, yeah, I would certainly 
um, recommend booking with Untours because then you have a travel advisor as well, right? That is on your side. They're giving you all the additional information. The pricing is exactly the same as it would be booking directly with Viking. So they just give you more attention and are able right. to get you the best promotion as well. So it, it's not really, it's just, it's nice to have a travel agent on your side. Yeah, and you'd be talking to either myself or possibly Brian. So um, hopefully we'll hopefully we'll be hearing from some of you. Um, do you see the solo question? Um, solo oh, yes. traveler question. Um, yes. So Susie, we we do have some solo travelers. I wouldn't say they're a majority, just because we don't have any single cabins. Um, but as I mentioned, for these sailings that are upcoming, we are having a good promotion for our solo travelers. That's not always the case, though. So I would I would take advantage of that during this time um, because typically it's a double occupancy regarding our pricing. It's based on double occupancy. But right now, for these new sailings, our guests who are eager to get back to travel, we are offering a special promotion. And Brian and Dee will have those details for you. Okay. Um, and I, I should just add that you'll be getting in a few minutes, you'll get a, um, an email from us with uh, some links that you can follow to ask more questions and um, Get more information directly from us on on booking and dates and prices and all of that. Okay, so Dee, do you want to just? Okay, yeah. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, we hope that we uh, Elizabeth has answered a lot of your questions regarding um, uh, Viking River cruises, and um, I'm available for any questions you may have, um, and hope to. You know, talk to some of you in the future, whether you're booking your first cruise or um, or repeat Viking cruise. We're happy to we're happy to talk to you and answer the questions. Thanks, everybody. Thank Thanks you. So Thanks, Elizabeth. Thank we look forward Elizabeth. to welcoming you on board. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.